Oh my god, we have an emergency, boys! We have a fucking emergency. My comments on my Instagram. Can you check your DMs, please? Okay, mate, what are you saying? What is it? 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 What's the emergency? Hello, mate. I know you probably won't see this, but my MC cocaine cargo has just been blowing up. Worse, cannot explain how mad I am. Two half wit retards decided to go up there and blow my stuff up. I ended up getting 20k when I should have got at least 1.5 million. The guy said to me, Sorry, I did it for fun. Can you say anything you can do? I know you probably ain't gonna see this, but I'm so annoyed. Fucking hell, I know, mate. You're what do you want me to do, mate? What do you want me to do? I'm sorry, your cocaine got blown up, mate. But there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry, I failed you. Is there anything you can do? What do you? What does he expect me to do? Magically refill his business. This video is sponsored by Guapku. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. Their link is in the description below. Right, I heard about this one. I saw the professionals video about this mission. And yeah, it looks absolute AIDS. So he said it takes about 20 minutes, which is just ridiculous. Obviously, crate missions should take no more than five. So I've never played this mission before, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. So I'm gonna play it now just to experience how stupid it is. I did actually get this mission a few days ago. I was doing crates the other day and I got this one, it came up, go to hookies, and I knew it was this one. I recognised that from the professional's vid, and I'd kind of skimmed through his video and seen basically what it makes you do, and no, I wasn't even going to do that. So I just found a new session and did another one and got a normal crate mission, but I'm going to do it this time, just to actually see how stupid it is, because that makes no sense to me. Crate missions normally take only a few minutes, you just drive a mile away, shoot some twat out of a van, steal it, drive it back. Three, four minutes. But then this one, you have to already go to hookies which is like five miles out of the city anyway so that in itself already the first objective is already bullshit having to come all the way out here anyway that is already ridiculous in itself let alone all the other stuff it makes you do so yeah you have to get some bags out of the right and now you have to go to Polito Bay so normally when you start a crate mission it's this type of distance here see 1.6 it's usually like 1.6, 1.7 miles away from your office or when you start the mission, that's usually how far you need to go. So it should just be that, not that from already being all the way out here anyway. Hey, don't forget, there's probably other crews out there trying to hit this wreck. Be careful. Who knows? Shut up. Going. So I have to take... Do I need to do this? Well, I'm just going to do it the way it says to. I'm not going to try and cheat it. Wait, why do I need to do this? So I needed to kill all them just to get a rebreather. Could I not have just equipped it anyway? Could I not have just equipped my own? I've got like 20 of these. This is like the go out to sea mission, but with like way more steps. Right, let me take this dickhead out. What containers? Where are they? Are they under the water? Oh my days. How am I meant to blow them up if they're at the bottom of the sea? What? Fuck this shit. What? I mean, this is already an absolute bullshit mission. I'm only a few minutes into it, and this is already total bollocks. This is a joke. This is a joke. And I haven't even really done anything yet. Yeah, if you're doing crates and it comes up, go to hookies, find a new session immediately. Do not do this. Just immediately find a new session. Don't even think about it. Just find new session. Because this is already bullshit and I haven't even really got that far into it yet. I mean, this is way too complex for a crate mission. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, fair enough. I, I think maybe, yeah, fair enough. Have this mission in, but you should literally get like 10 crates for it. I thought the bomb is right floating there. What the fuck? Oh my, what the fuck? Yeah, now there's two helicopters and how am I meant to kill them? How am I meant to get them? Obviously the last one's right down at the bottom of the fucking ocean. This is daft. Oh, 
Alright, so now I'm, I'm still all the way out at sea though. How do I get back to land? Do I need to find the boat I used to get out here? Is that still going to be here? I mean, I don't see it. And those helicopters are going to kill me the minute I get up to the surface as well. Wait, I'll get my dinghy from my... Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll get this, yeah. It's more reliable, I can see it on the map and it's going to stay there. Yeah, see, I'm already getting shot up. See, without snacks, I'd be dead. I would be fucked if I didn't have snacks. I mean, even with them, I'm probably going to die. I've got that new feature that I'm just spamming snacks from the weapon wheel like that. But without that, I'd be screwed. Absolutely screwed. I'd be having to die about three times, probably, to be able to get past that bit. And there's another one there, then. Where's he- I mean, where's he even come from, then? They have no shame. They don't even try and make it realistic. He just spawns right there. Right in front of you. It's obviously just another one of those ones where the criteria to complete the mission is to just die seven times or something like that. You just- it's obviously one of those ones where you- you basically just have to die a bunch of times in order to pass. Like the Tequila La Resupply mission. Like, you basically just need to die a bunch of times in order to complete that mission. It's basically impossible to complete it without dying at least a couple of times. Unless you just cheat the system or that, but... Still. I could have done two crate missions easily in this time. Easily. And that would be six crates I'd have. This is ridi- yeah, this is totally ridiculous. Oh, come on. Right, now I've got to go all the way over there, for fuck's sake. Sorry, what, I mean, what are they actually thinking with this? Is this actually a joke? Like, is this a prank? Is this a prank on the players or something? Because I don't see the angle here. You have to do all this for three crates. And I still had to pay 18k as well, even though I am literally just stealing them. Like, yeah, I, had, I did, didn't I? Did I get charged 18 grand for this? I will have done, because I just started a three crate mission like normal. You have to pay 18k, and then you have to go and steal valuables from the bottom of the fucking ocean at the top of the map. I'm just going to keep going, actually. I'm not driving along that whole... This whole little canyon road. Fuck that. I'm just going to stay on the motorway. But yeah, if I had to steal those valuables off all those guys, I had to kill all them and die like five times in order to get those valuables. And then I assume I am now trading these valuables for the crates now. I don't remember the professional's video. I, I just skimmed through it. I didn't watch it totally. So I don't necessarily know everything about it. But that seems to me that's what's going to be happening. I think I'll be trading the valuables now for the crates. So then what's the 18k for? Who, who did I pay that to? This makes zero sense at all. No sense. This is a complete waste of your time. Don't, I beg you, don't do this mission. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Just do this, right? Find new session and invite only session. It literally takes about 10 seconds to load into an invite only lobby. And if you have your spawn location on your office, you'll just spawn there and you can just start another one. So don't, don't do it, don't. It's a complete waste of time. You literally doing anything else is probably better time spent. Spend that 20 minutes doing VIP work and client jobs, you'll make about fucking quadruple the amount. Because how much is three crates even worth? 36k is it? But you had to pay 18k at the start. So that already cuts the profit in half. So you're basically getting 18 grand then for all of it. So 20 minutes of all this bullshit. You could spend that time doing KO setups or literally anything else. This is ridiculous. I mean, the mission itself, if you got paid a good amount for it, I'd have not really any problem with the mission. Like I said, if you got an enormous shipment, if you got a big truck with like 10 crates in it, fine, I wouldn't care. Yeah, so I traded the valuables. Yeah, I delivered the valuables. Hey, sounds like the deal went down yeah. Yeah, just what I thought. So I traded the valuables for the crates. So why did I have to pay 18k? I had to go and steal the valuables, and I used them to acquire the crates. So why does I have to pay 18k? I don't know how many crates I had to begin with, actually. I'm pretty sure this will be three crates. I mean, it wouldn't... I can't imagine it would be more than that. I'm just going to rewind the footage and just see how many crates this warehouse had to begin with. Right, it had 12. Okay, so it had 12 crates in it when I sorted this, so... I mean, it wouldn't give me more than three. It will it will put it up to 15. It'll just be three. It will be. But just to make sure. 
Alright, so the stock value was at 174k, now it's at 225. So, I don't know what that difference is. 225, take away 174, 51k. Alright, well that, that's actually not that bad. Not 18k like I thought. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Yeah, so it was 3. Um, actually, the, the more your warehouse fills up, crates are actually worth more. I think at the very beginning, the first 3 crates you do is 36. But as you have more crates, they become worth more. So 51k difference that was. But minus the 18k that I had to lose at the beginning... That's 33k. So I got 33 crates for all of that. And how long did it take? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes for 30k. That's a joke. What an absolute joke. I got a bitch to go and get some crates as well. I mean, what? I, I can't. I'm sorry. I just, I don't get that. I don't understand that in the slightest. You gotta do all that bullshit. For 33k. Alright, 20 minutes that took for 33k. 33k for 20 minutes. I mean, what even is that? 20 minutes, 33k. Let me show you something else, right? I'll start a stopwatch thing on my phone, right? Alright, starting now. Alright, let me show you this, okay? I can't believe I just wasted 20 minutes of my life like that for 33k. Like, 33k is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing, okay? It's pocket change. Bearing in mind, if you use the oppressor mark 2 for this, it'll take like half the time. I'm doing it in a car, and it still takes about three minutes. I should have put some mines downstairs, actually, shouldn't I? Never mind. Alright. I've got full access to their servers now. He's got a contract out for people to protect him. Don't be surprised if you run into any mercenaries looking for those people. Alright, we're at two minutes twenty two, and I've already basically done it. Target's only over there. And if I used an oppressor, I'd have done it already. I would have been done like 10, 20 seconds ago, probably, if I'd used the oppressor. It took like a minute to get to the building to begin with from the terabyte. That would have been about half of that with the oppressor. Right, just pull out this driveway. RPG. Right, 31 and a half K. That's basically the same amount as I got. What's that? One and a half grand less? Yeah, $1,500 less. But I mean, $1,500 is literally nothing. So basically the same money for, what was that? Three minutes? Literally about a little bit over three minutes. And that's with a car. If, like I said, if I used the oppressor, it would have been about two and a half minutes compared to 20 minutes. So, I mean, it's literally about 10% of the time. So, that stupid mission literally takes about nine or ten times as long. Not to mention the additional headache and extra effort you have to go through to do that stupid mission. Dying all those times and taking out the endlessly spawning helicopters and all that. It takes about ten times as much time and energy for basically the same exact pay. Or you can do a payphone hit in about three and a half, four minutes and you get 85k. There's about triple the amount, almost, in, in about a sixth of the time. That is ridiculous. That's a joke. I, I mean, what the hell? Why did they do that? Why did they make it like that, where it has so many steps? You've got to go all the way to the top of the map and do all that and then drive all the way to the desert somewhere over here and then and then back. I mean, what the hell is that as a crate mission? What? Crate missions are supposed to take a few minutes. That is a total piss take. And like the biggest waste of time I think I've ever experienced in this game. I mean, even little contact missions are probably going to be less time and energy spent and probably more profitable. So yeah, 100%, I'm telling you right now, if you, if you do a crate mission and you get that stupid lube phoning you rather than the assistant and it says, go to hookies, Find a new session immediately. Don't think about it. Find a new session. Two to the one, to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good tree. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than the toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the deep. Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me. Come with
Salvation. Hey.